Hey, what's up, guys? Spady Family is here today. I got another action figure review for you. And today, I'm finally gonna be reviewing this figure. I wanted to review it for quite some time now. Never really did get around to it, but we will be talking about the Marvel Select Juggernaut. Finally, oh my gosh, has it been? It's been forever. I, I it's almost unbelievable. I've never reviewed this, but still. Let me just say, this is one of the best figures in my collection. Now, the real quick problems I have with it is just there's a couple loose joints with mine. That might just be because it's old. Uh, bicep swivel is pretty loose. Knee joints pretty loose. Ball joints are pretty loose. That's really it. <laughs> but there's not that much articulation on the figure to begin with, so I guess I can't really be uh, saying that's really it because that's almost all the articulation. Anyway, his articulate. Uh, before I get into articulation, actually, I'm going to talk about the figure a bit. Uh, I remember buying this guy, and he was, I, if I didn't have this um, on hold for me, uh, they would have sold out, because my comic book shop sold out within, like, minutes. Minutes of this guy. Like, they had a whole stock of, like, I don't know, 20, I guess. I think he had, like, 20, and then they sold out. That's crazy. I mean, everybody, this was in high demand because the Marvel Legends Juggernaut is so rare to find out, right? But, uh, there was a variant where the, with, with, um, a helmetless version of him. Uh, and I, to be honest, I don't really like that. I like the fact, I like the Marvel Legends one better where you can take the helmet off. But, uh, whatever. You know, a, a swappable head maybe would have been nice. This guy's like a statue. I've seen, um, statue. Uh, this guy has more f detail than, uh, some statues. He's actually really cool. So, let's take a quick look at the head sculpt, man. That's actually really cool. I really like the way the face turned out. Looks really nice. Um, throughout the whole figure, there's like this grit. It. it you, you run your finger through, you can feel it's really cool. These lines and all that are all sculpted in as well. I love the paint variations too. Like he, all these paint variations, you know, the black and the red and all that is really cool. We're back to this um, very texturized feel. The boots, a bunch of black in there, different textures and colors and all that. You can see the bottom of the boots, which are really cool. I really like how those came out. No peg holes. Oh, I forgot. His one accessory was one of those little like, like picture things, and behind, you know, it's stupid. You put, it's only like this big too. So if you were to put him in front of it, it wouldn't really work. But my favorite part of the whole figure, I think, would have to be his arms. These, the way he they did these arms, they're just huge. They're just. They're massive, but we're not. Let's not talk about the the mass and the length. Let's just look at the the metal. That looks like real freaking metal, man. Holy freaking! I remember looking at this first time I got it out of the package. That was so cool to me. Looking that that is so neat. Even like the thumbnail too. See that, and then the fists, like the one that's just look at that, man. That's awesome. This is just a well detailed figure, very, very cool stuff. We just get the laptop. Oh, my goodness! Okay, that's good enough. Uh, oh, there we go. Just oh, I don't know what to say other than this is so so fucking cool. I don't want like saying that word, but that's the only way this can describe this figure. Anyway, the articulation is sort of unique, where it's um, I don't know. It's like the head. I don't really like. It sort of turns on an angle. I don't really like the head articulation, not one bit, no. It's 
you can't really that looks kind of stupid he does have a ball joint a bicep swivel and a joint at the arm as well as this joint that turns a bit uh, ball joints on the Y thigh swivels single joint elbow and this unique when I said unique articulation this is the part that's unique and I actually really like this this is like somewhat of an ankle pivot which is cool and I really like that you can get it in a charging pose with uh, using that piece of articulation which I really do like um, overall this is a great figure this is definitely a must buy if you don't have this in your collection Marvel Legends fans Marvel Select fans and just a Marvel fan in general would really appreciate this uh, definitely pick this up it's like a statue but um, cheaper so yeah must buy figure definitely definitely check this out and if, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Spendy Fan Views. I do comic book reviews, movie reviews, sometimes a video game here and there. Uh, but that's really all I gotta say about Juggernaut here. Uh, yeah, peace out.